Today we're going to talk about using Gmetrix to prepare for the certification exam. So first of all, you want to make sure that Gmetrix is installed on your computer. Even though we don't access it from here, um, we still want to make sure the program is there and running. Otherwise, it won't work for us. Next, we're going to log into Jasper Active, and then depending on which program it is that you're going to try certification in, for example, Word, I'll use that one, you're going to click into the program, and then you want to find the Gmetrics tab. When you click on the Gmetrics tab, it should launch you into Gmetrics. If it asks you for a password, um, we always use Jasper Active 1 and you put that in twice and then it will connect your Jasper Active to your Gmetrics. So when you click on that tab, you're going to see it should take you to this view where it says take a test and it's going to show you all of the tests that are available for you. Um, there are some standard ones that are in here, the word uh, practice exam one and practice exam two, and then the skill reviews, and then there's some additional tests that your teacher can set up for you. When you go in to do the practice exams, they're set up very, very similarly to the Microsoft Office Specialist exam, which is why this is such a great training tool. When you hover over the exam you want to take, you're going to see it gives you training mode and testing mode. Uh, training mode will give you help if you get stuck. Testing mode will not. I'm going to first go into training mode and show you what that looks like. <clears throat> when you get the pop-up, you want to open Gmetrics. And if anything else pops up, just click the affirmative. And then once it loads, it's going to look, again, very similarly to what the certification exam will look like. Um, it will open Word and then it will have your instruction panel on the bottom. There we go. So while the test is loading, uh, you can get familiar with how this looks. So again, Word should be open in the top. Uh, it's going to open up a document for you. And then at the bottom, you're going to see you have the instruction panel. So the instruction panel has a few things that you want to pay attention to. Um, you can zoom in if you need to, or zoom out if you want to make your text bigger or smaller, just by clicking on this button. It has a docking option here. So if you want to put your uh, instruction panel somewhere else, you can. However, I highly encourage you to keep it at the bottom because that's the way the certification test has it. And so it gets you familiar with this layout. Next is going to show you the projects. So in this case, I have seven different projects and I'm currently on project one. So very similar to the certification exam, you'll be given a variety of projects and those projects could have between one and five, maybe even more tasks to them that you have to complete and then you go into the next project. You're gonna see you have a count timer right here that's actually counting up. So when we're in uh, training mode, it counts our time up instead of down to let us see how long it's gonna take us to complete this exam. Um, what I always tell my kids is make sure that you are doing the things you know first. So as you go through the tasks, if you aren't sure, what it is, you can't do it immediately, mark it for review. If you can do it immediately, do it and mark it as complete and go to the next task. Um, before I get into these over here, I'm gonna look at my instruction panel here. So it's gonna give you, it's gonna start you off on task one, but if you click on the overview tab, it will actually tell you what the project is. So in this case, your company rents cabins near a lake. You are editing a flyer to advertise the cabins to customers. And then as you go into the tasks, the first task on the last page below the heading weekly rental, convert the table to text, separate the data by tabs. So if I scroll down into my document, there's the table and I wanna convert that. Um, if I am not 100% sure how to do this, I can click on the help button 
the help button below where it tells me what the task is, it will give me step-by-step -step instructions. Again, this is only available in training mode. So it's helpful to try training mode to uh, remind you of what it is that you're doing. Uh, sometimes we forget, oh, which tab do I go to? Or how do I do this particular thing? So training mode is really good in helping you um, kind of remember and solidify in your brain the t uh, different tasks it's asking you to do. When you've finished, so if I completed that, I can mark it as complete or mark for review. You can use the next task and previous task buttons or just click on the task itself. That's usually what I do. When you have finished all of the tasks, you can click grade project. And what this is going to do, it's going to go through, it's going to grade all of the different tasks, see how you did. I didn't do any of them, so I didn't get any of them correct. And at this point, you can either retry or you can go to the next project. <clears throat> In the next project, same thing goes. So right now my help is on. I'm going to turn my help off. It's going to give you, you can click on the overview to understand what it is you're doing and then go into each of the tasks. And again, keep an eye on that counting up timer. See how long it takes you to do these things. When you're done with the whole, so as you finish the project, so you click grade project, but you can also at any point click on the summary. The summary is going to go through. It's going to tell you how far you're in here. It'll show you the tasks you've viewed, the ones you've reviewed, the ones you've completed. And it shows you all of the different projects that are in here. At this point, you could go back and finish the test, or you could save the test. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish it. I didn't do anything, so I'm going to get a big zero, but that's okay. Once it closes you out of the test, it most likely will not show you your score. To see your scores, you want to go over to the left-hand side and find the green check marks that say test, and then you can go to completed tests. On the completed test, so here's the one I just did, it shows me my score of 0%. And it tells me the date and time that I finished it. Back to that testing option, you can also go to your saved test. So if at any point you're working on one and you need to save it and come back to it, it will save here. And so you can go in and access those there. Or when you start a new test, it will always ask you um, if you want to resume the most recent test that you were taking. All right, for the actual uh, testing mode, if I go into testing mode, you're gonna see that it shows the exact same layout. It's gonna be probably the same projects, but it won't have a help button and it will have a countdown timer. So the actual certification exam is a 50 minute timed exam and it will identify how fast you do each of the tasks. And the faster you do the tasks, the higher your scores are, right? So here you can see everything is the same. There's my projects, here's my tasks. My countdown timer, it starts at 50 and starts counting back. So this will help you to identify how long it takes you to complete the task um, again, mark completed, mark review, here's all your tasks. Same as in training mode, you can grade your project and move to the next one. You can click on the summary. You'll see there's no help button. So I'm going to click summary and I'm going to click finish and get another zero. So in a nutshell, that's Gmetrics. Now Gmetrics also has some skill practice exams. And those aren't set up um, like the Microsoft Office specialist exam. Instead, it just goes through all of the all different skills. Um, so as I go through here, it's going to ask me just to do one skill. There's not it's not set up in projects. It's just testing you on how fast you can do different skills. So this is another really good resource if you just want to start testing yourself, testing your knowledge. There is training and testing mode in this as well. And it is set up a little bit differently. 
once this test loads, it should load Word and it will have your instruction panel. And you can see your instruction panel is over here on the left. Um, you can move this. So if you click on the little menu option down here, there are places to dock your instruction panel. I prefer to dock it on the bottom just because again, it helps my brain prepare for how the certification exam is. And then it will just give you task after task. So create a document from the report design template and save the template as a Word document uh, named sample in the Gmetrics templates folder. All right, when you're done, you can click navigate to the next question and it will tell you if you get it incorrect or correct immediately. So then you can either try again or you can continue and go to the next one. So add the predefined sample to watermark to the document. Do, do, do. Mm -mm. I don't see this one. There it is. Where did it go? I don't see it. Ah, got to grab that slider bar. There it is. Okay, I've added this. Now when I click on next, it's gonna tell me, hey, you got that correct. What's nice about the skill review is that the skills usually only take a couple of seconds to do, and you can go through it really quick, and it lets you know, yeah, you got it, or no, you don't. Um, this also has a help option, and it will open up a separate window, and it will give you those instructions. With the sample test, you can go click on the menu options here, and then you can save and exit your test. So that's just a quick review of Gmetrics. Um, it's very, very helpful in practicing for the certification exam. So I highly encourage you guys to use it often.